Hello, it's Nadia from Modern Imaginings and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top tip on how to overcome artist block. If this is something you suffer from, I have also written a blog on the subject, you can check that out, link in the description. Today I'm going to be taking you through the full process, right from breaking the block to a finished artwork. I'm using my drawing tablet today just to show you how easy it can be and you don't have to take out all your paints and make a mess. First of all, I'm going to do a quick Google search for a marble pattern. There are some really lovely images out there, which, let's just go for the first one here. Doesn't even matter if it's got a watermark on it. This is a nice simple marble pattern from iStock Photos. That's maybe a bit basic, we want something maybe a little more detailed like that. Just copy image and then put it into Krita. That's a free drawing tool like Photoshop. So I dropped in a pattern with some gold accents to it and I was just drawing it with a red colour to outline some details. The secret to this is just to stare at it for a while until you see something that looks like something and just uh, have as much fun with it as you can. None of these drawings are good, they're all fun and silly and I had an awful lot of fun with this just making up these random crazy characters with little speech bubbles saying things, drawing over the camera watermark images and turning them into characters. The dragon is holding a camera in his hand. It's just a matter of looking at the shapes and seeing what they remind you of. It's basically just like if you're sitting on the toilet for a long time, you look at the patterns on the wallpaper and just see characters. That's what I do all the time and this is just a digitized version of that. But this is great for just getting your mind flowing, coming up with ideas for characters, for things to draw and once you've done this your mental juices are flowing and you're in that creative mindset so it's much easier when you dive into paints to really get going. If you're enjoying this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. It would be much appreciated. New encaustic wax painting videos and art tips and tricks are out every Monday evening. Right, that was a lot of fun. But this process is absolutely fundamental to the way that encaustic wax painting works. And this is why I am now going to move into my encaustic studio and show you just what I mean. Here we are in the encaustic studio and I'm just going to lay down a base colour on here and show you exactly what I mean. Let's celebrate. This little clip where I'm singing actually had a lot more impact on the final piece I made here than I realised, which is why I kept it in. I've been watching a lot of Daft Punk recently and the animation for this song is so cool. It totally inspired this final painting and I didn't realise it whilst I was making it. So I just laid down a base of some blue colour to get started. Once I have a pattern I'm happy with, I then dive in with the stylus and start outlining the details with a dark colour, the same as I did with the digital doodles. This is a fun, relaxing process and you just look at the shapes and see what jumps out at you and just keep drawing. With this I immediately saw little figures appearing and I was highlighting them in silver and drawing all sorts of interesting buildings and shapes and just going quite crazy with this. There were a lot of shapes that just lent themselves to these shooting stars and so then I went with that and I had a little shape in the middle which I wasn't sure what to do with. I made it a face at first and then I just painted over it. 
and I realized that that was a giant meteor and the whole image is just basically that song from Daft Punk where they're singing let's celebrate one more time and it's like the end of the world and the space invaders are coming down but when I watched that the first time I thought it was because a meteor was going to land on them because I'd not seen the animation and so that's what I kind of interpreted it to mean in this painting here people are just going about their lives there's a smaller person next to a larger person there's cities there's somebody standing next to the water and there's all sorts of things going on I think there's a bird up there and it's just suddenly all coming to an end with this meteor landing on them sorry if that got a little dark are you an Inkosik artist? If so, have you tried any of these techniques used in this video? And if not, let's talk techniques down in the comments. Let me know how you make encaustic painting. And what is your favourite subject to paint? That was a lot of fun. It is always very rewarding when you can take a simple little doodle and work it up into something that you're really proud of. And that is why art is so much fun. That is why I do what I do. I am an artist who doesn't generally suffer from artist blog just because my mind is always making these totally random connections to X, Y and Z and just totally going off at tangents all the time, kind of like I'm doing now. <laughs> I tend to have the opposite problem where I have too many ideas to know what to do with, which is not a bad thing, but might be something I make a future video about if that is something you're interested in. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please leave a like and subscribe if you would like to see more fun with art. Thank you very much for watching.